In this video, we shall discuss each part of the live tank current transformer one by one. This rod-like part serves the purpose of the primary winding. This is an iron core that surrounds the primary. Now we shall zoom the view. Here, you can see the core is not solid. It is laminated. It is around 0.23 to 0.27 millimeters thick. It is made of cold rolled grain oriented silicon steel. Each layer of laminations is insulated from the other by a thin layer of varnish. This core assembly is then covered with paper insulation as shown. Now the secondary winding is wound over the paper insulated core as shown. The wire of the secondary winding is also paper insulated along with the tapping terminals are brought down to the bottom of the current transformer. Now the entire assembly is again wrapped with insulation paper. This is the porcelain housing. Now the secondary winding, core and primary all together are covered with a steel or iron tank. The stud is then insulated from the tank by these small insulators. This is the pressure relief valve. This is the secondary terminal box. After opening the cover, we can see the secondary terminals here. But if there is more than one core, they could be placed side by side. This is the basic constructional detail of a live tank current transformer. 